Hey there, my name's Nicole. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and I have Crohn's disease. Today, our video is going to be a what I eat in a day video. Um, I struggle significantly with knowing what to eat, what I can tolerate, uh, changes day to day as with most people. And also I'm doing some research on different aspects of diet related to Crohn's disease and I'm active in like social media groups to try to figure out what other people are doing. And so this video, this video and other ones will incorporate things like that. So I hope you enjoy. Hey, baby girl. Hi. How are we? How are we this morning? Huh? Huh? Do we got jealous dogs? Do we got jealous dogs? <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Good morning. We're doing like some hay and pellets. Huh? So, I'm getting ready to work out, but honestly, I'd rather write right now. But here we are. I'm gonna jump rope, arms, abs. Currently stretching post workout. Um, my rest of my day, I'm gonna write my book. I write 1,800 words a month, a day, a month, um, for NaNoWriMo, uh, National Writing Month, which is November. Uh, I write like a whole 50,000 word novel within that month. So I'm about halfway through this month already. Um, and then I have to go to work and that's my day. <laughs> I just want to state that I absolutely hate winter and this damn coronavirus. My walk from where I work to friggin' the front door is like a half a mile. And I have to wear my mask like the whole time. My glasses fog up halfway through the journey. I can't even freaking see anything. If there's like ice or like a pothole or something, I'd totally break my ankle. And then when I get to my car, it's like, I gotta clean off my glasses. And when I walk in the front door, yeah, I have to screen you. And it's like, I can't see that you're a person, but here, <laughs> here I am. And here's my, my badge so you can put a freaking sticker on it. Oh God, just event there. So I had that bagel thin with the butter on it this morning. Um, since then I've had a Dunkin' Donuts coffee with the gingerbread swirl and cream and a uh, half of a diet Pepsi, 20 ounce diet Pepsi. Um, stomach's doing okay, feeling good, um, I'm hungry, I definitely want some junk food, which I know I shouldn't have, and um, a little bit of like acid reflux kind of feeling, but I'm also super stressed, uh, and I think that leads to a lot of my GI issues and my eating issues, which lead to my GI issues. It's a vicious circle and it sucks. <laughs> but anyway, that's the update for old 10.45 this morning, waiting to pick up my kid from school and take him to daycare um, and go on from there. I did just order Align leggings from Lululemon and I have a pair of VS Lemmy, oh my God, Victoria's Secret leggings on the way. And um, I ordered something, oh yeah, Choreo leggings. Choreo, uh, that's like a startup company. I don't know how long she's been selling leggings, but I did order some of hers. Um, and I think I got that idea from Hope Scope. That's, that's who I was looking into. Um, and I'm gonna see, I'm looking for a legging that doesn't super compress my stomach and cause me extra abdominal pain, but also will look good. So I will do a try on haul with those. This is the struggle I'm facing. So here's what happened. I totally forgot my lunch at home. And see, I'm craving uh, hot cocoa. So I figured I would come to Walgreens to get hot cocoa, but I also, um, got my son some Pringles, uh, sour cream and onion Pringles. And I'm like, that actually probably would be a good lunch for me because I know my stomach can tolerate it. I know that anything heavy right now would definitely hurt if I were to eat like a real sandwich or something. I had packed myself some cereal, but that's at home and I'm now craving Pringles. And so here we are at Walgreens. We'll see what I get. So, back right bar. This Miss Hot Cocoa. I prefer Nestle, but they didn't have it. And sour cream and onion Pringles. I got the little one. Okay, so, I mean, here's the thing. What I eat for my Crohn's is not healthy and it really causes me a lot of stress and distress and I don't, I don't know how to fix it. Um, I've tried eating cooked fruits, cooked vegetables, pain, 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 applesauce, pain, bananas, 
100% pain. Um, potatoes tend to hurt also. So I can eat like smoothies, but I mean, how many smoothies can you really do in a day? I mean, honestly, honestly, I can have one smoothie most days of the week, but a lot of times I, I wake up and I'm like, I don't feel like it. And I, I had this relationship with healthy food for a very long time. Um, all growing up, I ate junk food. I didn't like to eat healthy, anything healthy at all. And then I, my last year of high school, I lost weight. I started to eat healthy food for six days a week. The last day of the week I would binge and that worked for me for years. And then um, I had my son four, four and a half years ago. And ever since then, I have not been able to eat healthy. It was just a roller coaster ride, you know, having an infant and everything that we went through. And then the pain started a year later, about the time where I was ready to start eating healthy, I started to have pain. And then two years after that is when I got diagnosed with Crohn's. And it's a struggle every single day. I hate that I don't eat healthy. I worry about my heart. I worry about my cardiac health. I worry about dying because of the inflammation of my body and I don't know how to combat it. I mean, I'm on the medication, I'm on Antivio, it's going down, my CRP levels are normal, and yet I'm still experiencing pain. And it's really frustrating. This is me discreetly hoarding my junk that I just bought to take into work because I don't want people to see that I eat unhealthy because I am the hospital dietitian and I'm very embarrassed that I live like this. Anyway, this is for you guys. I just wanted to share this little image. You can actually see the sugar granules in the hot cocoa mix. <laughs> I never looked at it that closely. Hey guys, so I'm working on some research and I'm using the Facebook group, my Crohn's friends, uh, just to figure out what other people are doing for their diet with Crohn's, especially during flare-ups, what foods trigger people. Um, and I'm looking at this, this list I'm creating here. And it looks like a lot of people do like mashed potatoes, which I find very interesting because the two research diets that are out there, um, there is the IBD aid diet by, um, I can't remember her name. Um, the IBD aid diet, it was created in Massachusetts. Um, and then the Elaine Gottschall specific carbohydrate diet, which I believe both of them cut potatoes out. The IBD aid diet might have potatoes in it. Um, I know for myself, when I eat potatoes, I'm in pain. So I think it's interesting a lot of people can tolerate mashed potatoes. Um, one thing that I found is that high fat is definitely a no-no, anything high fat. It's bad for acid reflux, gastric um, acid production. It is bad for the ileal cecal valve because the ileum is where fat is supposed to be absorbed and digested. And if it's inflamed and destroyed, which happens with most Crohn's patients, you're not going to be able to digest the fat and that's going to cause pain and also subsequently diarrhea and there's the issue of people with us with constipation i don't really know what causes that yet because there's so few of us that have constipation but i am one of those people so just a heads up on the things that i'm finding oh, have i yet mentioned how much i hate winter all right work day is done i gotta go get my son from daycare i ate all of the things i mentioned earlier the fast break bar the hot cocoa the pringles um feel great fantastic um hungry i'm gonna have some dry apple jacks for now i don't know what i'm gonna do about dinner yet it's like 4 30 i don't know if i'm gonna eat anything more than that but feeling good right now i got some light reading for the night um autoimmunity of oral microbiome connection cool stuff um <laughs> this is what i love right now uh yeah so that's it for now i don't know if i'm gonna update for the night because I'm gonna be home with my son and my boyfriend and his daughter and life's chaos once I get to that point. So yeah, what I wanna do with these videos is um, what I eat in a day is letting you know what I'm doing my diet, uh, research that I find and discover and just update from there, just connect with people and go from there. So that's it for today and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and uh, stay up to date with all the new content. Bye.